G'day guys, Ryan here from Master Tech Marine in Tauranga, the beautiful sunny Bay of Pliny. Today we're doing a review on the features and the benefits on the 750 Extreme Game King. Very solid boat, 7.5 metres overall. These are a lock-up hardtop, offer a lot of room. Today we're going to go through and just show you a couple of the features that they have as if you were to own one of these yourself. As you can see on this one we've got the Mercury 150 horsepower four-stroke. Now we've put two motors on this particular rig. This one's going to be more designed around the game fishing side of things, so for manoeuvrability within the props themselves, being able to put one into forward and one into reverse, you really do get that um, access of being able to back up onto fish or turn in sharp areas. These boats are a 6mm hull, so built very, very solid, and they're a 2.8 metre beam, so when it comes to your stability, moving people, whether it's divers or fishers from side to side on the boat, you really get the stability and the room to being able to do what you want. We're going to go through and work our way through the boat and just show you a couple of the bits and pieces that we've put inside this as far as the rigging on our side and also the after specs that have gone in from the factory direct. So if you'd like to jump on board and we'll go through the inside with you. Okay guys, so now that we've onboarded the boat, there's a couple of features that this craft's had added that is not particularly standard from factory. Um, Basically one of the good things I like about this particular one is plenty of access through the walkthrough transom if you're a diver getting on and off the boat. One of the things that has been added is the like of this rail here. So when you're coming up with your gear on, nice sturdy handrail to grab onto, bait board's nice and sturdy. The bait board itself very good, uh, you can ski off these so they're plenty for biscuiting or if you want to run skis. Uh, integrated into the bait board which also has a very unique design. So one of the good things or key features about the bait board is very easily to clean. A lot of bait boards are fixed so when it comes time to cleaning or getting rid of the mess makes it very tricky. Anything does get catched into this well is drained out through the hose which is then run external back out to the ocean. The bait board can also be turned over if you want to go out and you're using it for a couple of different areas. So you can now use it as a barbecue table or if you want to fillet your fish while you're out there. Over in this far corner we've had the tuna tubes added. So again as I explained before with the twin motors this particular rig has been more set up for game fishing and the tuna tubes are essential for that ideal. Good storage here for the, bait, uh, for the uh, batteries. So the battery lockers have a water seal type unit and the batteries are off the floor which is really good to see. Also got tucked away down here, the walkthrough transom, so it's not getting in the way, lining into side pockets. It's got its own little home tucked away nicely. That can just slide straight in. So if you find yourself backing up onto that big fish, you're not getting the waves and the water splashing back through the inside of the hull. So we're going to go through and just show you a couple of key features on the inside as well, and then go from there. Rightio, so now that my cameraman's managed to turn the camera around to a view where you can see a little bit more, uh, a couple of good things on the back transom here. So we've got a good style chili bin, acts as a seat as well. And on the starboard side here, we've got beautiful storage area for the gas bottle. So I'm going to walk inside now. So, bifold door. Very easy to operate. And you can just pin that back. Whew. And I will admit, she's pretty warm in here. Just gonna let some of this heat out. One of the other good things about these boats is if you're trolling for marlin, trying to get breeze through the hard top generally is not very easy. But these, these particular boats are well thought out with sliding windows in the walkthrough. So the lock up now becomes good access. You can talk to your, your crew on board and you can let that breeze come through. So when it comes to the inside, there's plenty of room and storage for everybody to hold all their gear. This, this one here actually acts as a table. But if you're not wanting to use it as a table, that does slide down and it becomes another smaller berth. Plenty of storage each side of the tables, massive room. That, that storage on each side of this goes straight to the floor. So again, plenty of room to carry towels, cookers, pretty much everything you need to do. Coming over to the starboard side here, 
we do have a little two burner gas cooker so again if you want to go out and cook a feed have lunch or you're staying the night uh, the boats do cater for your day-to-day -day person fishing and also your overnighters or the people that want to go away for the weekend and really enjoy long range fuel tanks in these things if you are after any more specs on these as, as finer specs you can have a look on the website uh, www.mastertech.co.nz um, or give us a call we can send you out a brochure or, or give you the specs over the phone when it comes to the internals as you can see beautiful laid out electronics all flush mounted so it gives it a nice clean finish 10 inch screens so doesn't really give the fish a chance really switch panels are nice and easy to use um, hydraulic steering in this which is a, a must and then your twin twin binnacle when you get up into the forward cabin plenty of storage you'll easily sleep three adults across there you've got your flushing toilet which is underneath the your front squabs so you can just pull them out use the toilet and you've also got a privacy curtain that comes in through there as well up the top plenty of handrails grab rails again they're a must especially in those rough conditions you can hang on and, and be safe so i think that almost includes everything on the 750 at the moment um, if, again, if you've got any more questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. You can contact Carl on his cell phone, which is 0274 886 782, or feel free to visit the website, which is www.mastertech.co.nz. Thanks for checking it out, guys.